In our health alert tonight, a new study reveals more patients are coming down with something called Q fever. And it is a little known disease, so we brought in our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, to explain what it is and how people catch it. Doctor, thank you for joining us as always. Oh, my pleasure, Glenda. So Q fever, right? What is it? It's short for Curie fever, which is a disease caused by a bacteria called Coxiella burnetti. Now, this bacteria is found naturally in cattle, goats, and sheep. And this bacteria can infect folks through direct contact with livestock that is carrying the bacteria. And it's also possible to get it simply by breathing in contaminated dust particles that easily blow long distances with the wind. So, Doc, why do they think that severe cases are more common than expected? Well, Alan, taking a look at the research of the 20 patients who were diagnosed with Q fever, three developed chronic cases and two unfortunately died. Now, 20 seems like, like a, not a lot, right? But these numbers are a lot higher than the national average. And the real concern is that Q fever is seriously underdiagnosed. And part of the reason is because the symptoms are, are flu-like, so fevers, chills, muscles, muscle aches, vomiting, all pretty nonspecific. So people usually don't know they have it. And the blood work that detects it can take weeks uh, for a proper diagnosis while the disease progresses. Now complications, right, can lead to inflammation of the liver, the lungs, the central nervous system, and endocarditis, which is a life-threatening, potentially life-threatening infection of the heart valves. So Dr. Nandy, how do you avoid contracting this bacteria? So Glenda, there's mm -hmm. presently no vaccine to prevent Q fever. So anyone who works with these animals should really take extra precautions to minimize the risk. But for everyone else like us, the most obvious way is to avoid direct contact with livestock and their bodily fluids. But also be aware if you visit downwind of a farm where ideal conditions exist, you could be at increased risk. And lastly, I'd recommend you avoid drinking raw milk or unpasteurized products from these animals as they may be carrying the germ. If you have any questions, obviously talk to your, to your doctor. And if we see any more cases, we'll let you know right away. Please do. Thank you, Dr. Nandy. Oh, my pleasure. And if you have a question or a health alert for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at askdrnandy.com or be sure to send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.